Okay, so this is the third and final video, just just to audio video to introduce the the concept of de that that in order to realize enlightenment, self realization, you must defocus your awareness. There are three main pathways through awareness, through space, through oneness. Each of these pathways can be broken down into three methods, distinct methods. And so there are nine ways or nine methods or nine approaches to defocus your awareness. Um, focusing awareness is useful for everything, just not enlightenment, not self-realization. You must defocus your awareness in order to realize enlightenment and self-realization and to come to an unfocused, objectless awareness, which is enlightened awareness, which is the awareness where self-awareness occurs, true self-awareness, awareness of the self where enlightenment, enlightenment is experienced or occurs. So, in this final video, since I've, you know, I've summarized everything there in a general sense, I touched lightly on each of the methods. Um, I just want to, you know, touch briefly on my own experiences with each of these methods in my own spiritual path and how I came to understand these as being the the methods the, the defocusing awareness being the fundamental method was more like a intellectual kind of insight but the actual methods themselves that I have practiced through awareness through space and oneness I've experienced all three of these along my path to self-realization and so on so um, I had a spiritual teacher many years ago, and <clears throat> we were doing kind of like a sitting meditation, a meta type practice where you you are radiating loving kindness to all beings and so on. And what he instructed us to do was to expand our awareness in all directions. And so I did. And what happened was I started to have a different awareness of myself. I felt that, yes, my awareness did extend beyond my physical body, and I did have a different experience or awareness of myself that was very distinct. It wasn't like um, any other kind of awareness of, of myself I'd ever had. Not mindfulness, not through mindfulness, not through um, <clears throat> anything, martial arts or anything else. So it's a very distinct awareness of myself, and this was my this is what I call my first awareness, you know, of self awareness, you know, true self awareness, not you know physical awareness or psychological awareness, but awareness of awareness. Um, so this was my first. This was, and what this is is. Uh, experiencing awareness through space. You're expanding your awareness out into space. You're realizing that it's already, uh, your awareness already extends everywhere. Okay. Um, the, the second experience that I had early on in my process was in, in this same time period when I had, was seeing my spiritual teacher. Um, I was with my brother and he was talking and I was listening to him, and we were just, you know, listening to him conversate, and and for a split second, I, I became one with him. I didn't necessarily experience love or bliss or anything like that, but I became one with him, and that was where I began to understand this this principle of the oneness of everything through this experience with my brother. Again, here's this pathway of coming to. Um, this awareness uh, of your of your true or ultimate identity through the oneness between oneself and others. So, um, the 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 third and the most important, I think, experience. I, they're all important. They're all they're all your experiences. All spiritual breakthrough experiences are very important and vital and fundamental in the process of. Uh, learning and experiencing but the the most important experience I had was 
later on in this process, as I was having all kinds of experiences of various kinds, at one point, I just said, you know, I was experiencing energy difficulties. Energy would not flow properly, and I was experiencing you know, various kind of problems of an energetic nature, uh, tensions, tight spots, so on. And I decided I need to go completely inward. I need to go completely into this and see what this is. And so I turned completely inward, um, and I, uh, when I went totally inward, all the way, I went all the way in, it was, the, the experience itself didn't last but maybe a few moments, even though, you know, the awareness itself is eternal and timeless, it didn't last but a few moments, but when I went totally inward, what I experienced was there was no body, there was no mind, and there was only light and only bliss. And, and in that experience, that one experience for a few moments, that's when I had self-realization. That's when I realized this is who I am, this is who I will be, always. You know, this is what was, what, what is, what will be. I was not born, I will not die. You know, it's, it's a very radical, profound kind of recognition. And after you have that, then you are seeking to establish in that awareness. But you still have this realization, and, and it, it fundamentally changes your perspective. But that experience was defocusing awareness through awareness. By going into my awareness, I came to this self-realization. Now... As you get into these processes, there's just, you know, just to end, you know, wrap up this video, this series of videos, what are you looking for? What are you trying to experience in this process? Well, there's a few indications that you're on the right path with defocusing awareness in, in all these different ways through awareness, space, oneness, by, you know, uh, going backward with your awareness, turning your awareness inward, through dropping everything, through expanding your awareness outward in all directions, through filling space with your awareness, through letting go of everything, through merging with everyone and everything, through going between self and other, subject and object, and or through getting behind, getting outside, getting before, behind, underneath, you know, your, your life, your body and, and everything, this whole creation. Um, what you're looking for is your awareness extending beyond your physical body or the oneness of everything or this pure kind of happiness, love, or peace. If you're having any of those three kinds of experiences, you're on the right track. So... Um, Good luck. If you need more information, I've put a link to my blog where I've written more detail on all of these methods. Thanks.